I think that health could be seen in different point of views. On in one hand, you could see you could see health as uh, being uh, healthy. So uh, don't in like so in a way that you don't have any diseases or you're never sick, and this could be seen as health. But on the other hand. I think that health is also being responsible in a certain kind of way. Health is like um, a f it's physical and also it's like a feeling. Your body feels well, it's like healthy, but also you have to feel well and health. So it's like both. I think health, it's um, different when you grow up because when you're little, Health is like, you have to brush your teeth, you have to get showered every day, you have to wash your hands um, before you eat. And then when you get older, it comes with more responsibilities. Health is related to a happy life. If there's health, then we are happy. I mean, health is one of those vital things in life. And I don't only mean our health, but the health of, of the society and yeah. the planet. I think I am. I think I'm, I'm conscious of my state of health because I, I'm, I work for it. I think I'm pretty healthy mm -hmm. because of, I, I practice sports. I don't have any kind of like smoking or drinking too much. I think on the whole, I can be satisfied on this. I would say yes and no. I have my healthy days and my non-healthy days. It's always, I think it's normal to have that day where you want to drink a little more or go to McDonald's. But besides that, yeah, I think I'm pretty healthy. I do sports and yeah. Maybe at this age, we all think we are healthy. <laughs> but then in 20 not. years, we'll see the differences. Because we feel healthy, maybe, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, when you say that, I also think, do you, are you invincible? No. How we feel sometimes. Um, well, our school, you have to have two sports credits. So, like, I play tennis and run track. And then I try to not eat too much junk food. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, to keep, like, a good balance between, like, healthy stuff and then maybe some, like, indulgences and that kind of stuff. Yeah. I think me too. I try to eat healthy and go to a club, to a gym. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I go, I play soccer and like with the school and yeah, I s just eat healthy food. I think promoting exercise and good eating habits is a very important thing in kids because they don't understand how important it is. It's hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's not an easy question. I, I thought of something but it's actually more, it's related to health but it is also related to the Ministry of Education. Uh, we, know, we all know sport is a fundamental part of life. We have to move, we have to exercise. We have two hours a week of uh, physical education, which I already think is too little. Recently, uh, we are now, we have to do the theoretical part of physical education, which if we are lucky, it means we sometimes do one week of s one hour of sports a week, and I don't think this is a good thing. Either you take away the theoretical part, or you increase the number of hours of physical education, as it is too important for us. Uh, also, also university should be free. I think but that's my personal mm -hmm. point of view. Because better education means a uh, um, more healthy nation. One problem in the U.S. is buying healthier food is actually more expensive in a lot of cases than going to get fast food. So it's just because of socioeconomic uh, situations, people just choose to go buy unhealthier food just because it's cheaper. So that's another problem. I know a lot of the problem stems from uh, uh, government subsidies going to the industries that which produce the unhealthier food. So maybe shift those subsidies to um, you know, vegetables and fruits and healthier uh, I think that most of the people that buy those food, they do it even because of their economical state, but even because they don't know the harm that can produce to yourself. So I think if they knew the results of eating this kind of food for 
a long period, I think they might change their habits to towards the better ones. I think I'd find a way to make healthy food even convenient for families, maybe on low income families, by taxing unhealthy food or maybe lowering the taxes. I mean, create a way in which um, eating healthy food and doing healthy habits is not only good for health, but even for the uh, economic side of the, the issue. We see the commercial of McDonald's every day, especially in the hours in which children watch cartoons. I'm not saying McDonald's is, ba is bad, but something must be done, maybe show another type of commercial or something else that is healthy. A lot of times it really depends on where you grow up, like how healthy, um, I guess like stable your environment is. So I would say to pay attention and talk to families more. Um, I would like to say promote uh, free education at the university and use them, your money wisely. What I suggest it will be to invest more in us on education for us to be prepared when it will be our turn. Maybe they think that as teenagers we maybe don't care about these kind of things but we do and because they're really important. Thank you.